In this session, we'll see how to derive trigonometric ratios for angle 36 degrees and 54 degrees. In previous video, we have seen how to derive values for 18 degrees and 72 degrees. You can check the description for the link. I will use this 18 degrees to find the value for 54 degrees and 36 degrees. Now let us start with sine 54. For sine 54, the values that we already know are for sine 0, sine 30, sine 45, sine 60, sine 90. 54 cannot be related to any of these angles. And then we know for 18 and 72. If we check 18 and 54, 3 times 18 is 54. So we'll use sine 18 here. And let us take theta equal to 18 degrees. Then 3 into theta will make 54 degrees. 3 theta means it's a multiple of theta. So we'll use the formula of multiples. Sine 3 theta equal to 3 sine theta minus 4 sine cube theta. We'll use this. Now substitute here 3 theta and theta. In place of 3 theta, we'll keep 54. And in place of theta, 18. Now the substitution will be like that. After this, we'll take sine 18 common from this. That makes sine 18 of 3 minus 4 sine square 18. Now substitute the value of sine 18 in this equation. The equation will get modified like this. And here, this is like a minus b whole square in the numerator, which is nothing but a square plus b square minus 2ab, where a is root 5 and b is 1. Using that, when we expand, it will get modified. Here we have done the expansion and the denominator 4 square is nothing but 16. And 4 and 16, it makes 4 times. Here 5 plus 1 is 6. So the numerator will get modified. Now in this term, if we take LCM, 4 will become LCM. And then 3 into 4 makes 12 minus of... 6 minus 2 root 5. Now this makes 12 minus 6 minus into minus is plus 2 root 5 upon 4. Here 12 minus 6 becomes 6. So this particular term in this place we can write 6 plus 2 root 5 upon 4. We'll do that. So Previously, we have stopped here and then we have done the calculation. This became 6 plus 2 root 5 by 4. We will write it down here. Now, we have to multiply this two terms, the numerator and denominator. 6 into 5 is 6 root 5. Then 5 into 2 root 5. Root 5 into root 5 is 5 into 2 is 10. Then minus 1 into 6 is minus 6. Minus 1 into 2 root 5 is minus 2 root 5. Upon in denominator we have 4 into 4 that is 16. Now we'll write it down. And here again if we see 6 root 5 minus 2 root 5 makes 4 root 5. Plus 10 minus 6 that makes 4. The numerator will get converted as 4 root 5 plus 4 upon 16. Now take 4 common in the numerator. That makes 4 of root 5 plus 1. Here 4 and 16 4 times. So this gives the final value for sine 54. That is root 5 plus 1 upon 4. Now we'll use this sine 54 value to find the value of cos 36 and cos 54. Sine and cos are co-functions which means sine theta equal to cos of 90 minus theta. In place of theta if we substitute 54 it becomes sine 54 equal to cos of 90 minus 54. 90 minus 54 is nothing but 36. So sine 54 and cos 36 are same and the value would be equal to root 5 plus 1 upon Four. From the sine value itself, we can find cos 54. For that, we will use the identity sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. On rearranging the terms, we'll get cos theta is equal to plus or minus root 1 minus sine square theta. 
here in place of theta if we substitute 54 it becomes cos 54 equal to plus r minus root 1 minus sin square 54 substitute sin 54 value and the numerator here is like a plus b whole square which is nothing but a square plus b square plus 2ab where a is root 5 and b is 1 we will expand this now 5 plus 1 becomes 6 and here if we take LCM it is 16 so 1 into 16 is 16 minus of 6 plus 2 root 5 now take minus inside it becomes minus 6 minus 2 root 5 upon 16 16 minus 6 gives 10 here so this makes 10 minus 2 root 5 upon 16 this entire thing is under square root actually so for the square root numerator will return as it is and in denominator root 16 is nothing but root here in plus or minus we are considering only plus because 54 will be in the first quadrant and we know in first quadrant all the trigonometric ratios are positive so we'll just take the positive value here. This gives the value of cos 54 to be root 10 minus 2 root 5 upon 4. From this we will try to find the value of sine 36. As per the four function formula cos theta equal to sine of 90 minus theta in place of theta. If we substitute 54 cos 54 equal to sine of 90 minus 54 90 minus 54 is 36 so cos 54 equal to sine 36 and that's the value now we know the values of sine and cos for 36 and 54 we use these values to find the value of tan tan 36 is equal to sine by cos so in place of sine and cos if we substitute the formulas from the table it will get modified like this now the 4 here and 4 get cancelled out and we will have the value root 10 minus 2 root 5 upon root 5 plus 1 in a similar way we can find the values for tan 54 as well that is sin 54 by cos 54 substitute the values again 4 and 4 will get cancelled out that gives root 5 plus 1 upon root 10 minus 2 root 5 so that's the value for tan 54. We have got the values for sine, cos and tan for 36 and 54. For cot, take the reciprocal of tan. For secant, reciprocal of cos. And for cosecant, reciprocal of sine. That gives the trigonometric ratios for 36 degrees and 54 degrees.